challenges that we did last week. Okay. Okay, so it's in that section. It's still part of the Torah service. Right. Because it's the end. Okay. And underneath that, it says Hagba. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so we can do that. And then they're just going to uh, follow. Then uh, there's a prayer for the state of Israel, which I'll go over in, in Hebrew. Yeah, I see that here. And then um, the one for Israel, the one for Israel is not in Hebrew in my book. Really? In English. Oh, okay. The right, part well, that says fulfill in our day the ancient promise that there's one line there that's in Hebrew. Maybe that's it's a little one. bit different. Okay, then there's a prayer for peace under it. And then we're going to do... Um, Same thing, English. Okay. Everybody's favorite prayer, Ashrei. I sent Ashrei out too because everybody loves Ashrei so much. And then um, we'll do Eitz Chaim, returning the Torah. And that basically is the end of the Torah service. Then they, then uh, Musa, Musa starts. And then you have a Chatsi Kaddish at the end, which is uh, the end, that signals the end of the Torah service. So, you know, the Chatsi Kaddish is like a divider. Remember you used to have a loose leaf when you were, we're in school. Did you ever have a loose leaf binder? You had those little dividers? Well, yeah. that's the Hatsi Kaddish. That's your divider. Okay, so we're going to... All right, so Beth is here. Let me just take attendance and get everybody in. This is great. Yeah, over here, the weather is beautiful on Long Island. Okay, so we have Beth. Just take attendance. Beth is here. Hi, and Diana's here. Michelle is here. Janice, this is good. All right, Diana, Paula. Okay. All right, Sherry. Hey, we're doing very well. Okay, Thank so we you can get for last week. That was really great. It really helped <laughs> listening to the Megillah. Yeah, you know, it's funny. <laughs> when I went uh, to the Megillah on Wednesday night, I, as it was being read and I was following it, you know, in Hebrew, I went, oh, we went over this phrase and that <laughs> phrase too. She's good looking. She's to Black Mare, you know, and, and I said, you know, a lot of these significant, and then with the hanging of, his sons, the Talu et Banim, shall shall Haman al Haetz on the tree, and I, you know, I saw a lot of the guide, the guide words, and so I was really happy. That was that was fun. All right, um, it's uh, time. We're going to start, so we get a lot of things in. Okay, so I promised that we would finish just the major elements of the Torah service. You know, not every word, but so. You realize, of course, when you look at, we start with the Chatsi Kaddish, and in Lev Shalem, it's on page 174, in Sim Shalom, page 408. So when you, the Chatsi Kaddish, and it tells you here, is done before the Maftir Aliyah. So when you finish um, all the regular seven Torah readings, then uh, they will call up, and they'll have, they'll say the Hatsi Kaddish. And by then they'll have done the uh, prayers for the sick. And then when they, uh, the person who's a Gabbai Rishon does the Hatsi Kaddish, and then they call up the Maftir. Sometimes they say Maftir Chazak. Oh, hi, Rhoda. Hi, hi. Good, good to see you. Okay, let me just log you in as Chris Sunday, Rhoda. Good. So the, um, the uh, now the person who does the Maftir Aliyah, it depends on what they want to do. If they want to read the Maftir in Hebrew, the last few lines of the seventh Aliyah, they can choose to do that. Um, but a lot of times they are just going to read the blessing and the blessing is regular Aliyah, you know, so it's this, it, it's nothing special that you have to learn. It's just they do the Aliyah and then, and uh, the person 
who read the seventh aliyah will read the maftia, the last part of the seventh aliyah. Then they go back and they read the blessing after that part of the Torah is read. And then they can launch into their haftorah. Diana, have you done any haftorahs? Um, I did a little bit of a haftorah for my adult bat mitzvah uh -huh. one time. I think you'd probably <laughs> be a good it. candidate to learn that. That's your next project. <laughs> hey. yeah. You should learn. Hey, no, if your Hebrew is 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 good, you know, um, you can work on that in the summer. There's no reason why you you can't and make that as a you know a project, something you want to accomplish. I see Sherry is here, Ruben, Sherry Ruben, and Eddie. Good. I'm getting everybody in. So I hope you all enjoyed the Megillah, and I hope that what we did was a little helpful. Um, I, I found it helpful to me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I found it I found it helpful because my ear was picking up those phrases that we did together, which was really good. So the Hatsi Kaddish, and then we have the Maftir. So the Hatsi Kaddish, as I was just saying before, it's like that old-fashioned binder that you used to have when you went to junior high or high school. And there were dividers, remember that? And you had reinforcement rings. Anyway, it's a divider. And so it, it divides pieces of the service. And when the service is over, the Torah service, it's going to pop up again. The Hatsi Kaddish, this one, is not to be confused with the Mourner's Kaddish. Now, the Mourner's Kaddish doesn't say any word about death, dying. It's not said. It starts with the Yit Gadal, the Yit Kaddash Shemei Rabbah, the same way um, magnified and sanctified is God's great name. And it goes on, it's, it's a bit different. But it's nothing about death and dying. So this one is, again, if you look at the words in this Kaddish, it's, it's about, it's like a composite of all the prayers, of all the nice things that we've said in all the tefillot and all the Psalms, all the tehillim about God, because I'm just looking here and it says, I was looking at it, it says, may the name of the Holy One be acknowledged and celebrated, lauded and worshiped, exalted and honored, extolled and acclaimed. The God who is blessed and they go, so can you think of any more synonyms? You know, it's like, Okay, let's play the synonym game in this one. You're probably very familiar with the melody. And, it, and no, Chatsi is a half. Chatsi Kaddish. And it goes, Yit Gadal, the Yit Kaddash, Shemei Rabbah. Okay, do you recognize any roots there? Yit Gadal, is what root? Adol. Okay, so that means, oops, I just pushed myself out. That's nice. Okay, come on, get back. So um, Yit Gadal, he will be great. Ma he's magnified, he's exalted. And, okay, open, open sesame, there we go. So Yit Gadal, the Yit Kadash, what do we, what roots do we see in Yit Kadash? Kadash. 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 Kodesh. Okay, so may God's great name be exalted. That's the Yid Kadal, the Yid Kadash, and sanctified, and and be hallowed, made holy. Made holy. Now we are reading Aramaic, ladies, because the ends in the words end in an aleph, not in a hey. In modern Hebrew, it would end in hey. So Yid Kadal, the Yid Kadash, Shemay. What is Shemay? You know this word. Name. Her name. Right. Name. But this is Aramaic. Good. Shemei Rava, his great name, Rav. What about Baal Ma? Baal Ma? Oh, Mama. You see the word? Word of the world, Olam. Right, Olam. See, you're catching on. Oh, oh, oh very good. <laughs> Baal Ma, Divra, Kirute, Vyamlich, Malchute. Where, what about in Vyamlich? What verb would that Melech, be? Melech, Melech, king. Melech, and, and so he rule, and he will rule, v'yamlich. It says about God's sovereignty, what he will rule, v'yamlich, malchute, his kingdom um, will reign. 
Bechaye Hon. You see any anything that? Bechaye? Life. Life. Chaim, Bechaye Hon. And so the translation says, in your lifetime, U Yome Hon. Yome Hon. Days. Your days. Okay. And then it says, and in your days, Yome Hon. U Bechaye, the whole Beit Yisrael. And in the mm -hmm. life of, and the days of, all of what's Beit Yisrael? House of Israel. House of Israel. The Agala Uvizman Kariv, and in time and in the close time and in near time, Kariv like Karov. The Imru Amen. What about the Imru? What's the root there? Omer. Right. We used to play in the Hebrew school. Shimon Omer. Simon mm -hmm. says. Simon says Yadayim mm Alharo, -hmm. Yadayim Al Ketefayim, Yadayim Lamala, Lamata. Okay, and if you just go Lamata, you're out because Shimon didn't Omer. <laughs> okay, so Omer. And we know in the Torah, Vayomer Adonai El Moshe, Vayomer Moshe El Adonai, it's all over the place. So sometimes when the Torah readers are looking for the place <laughs> and they start laughing because there'll be a lot of paragraphs that begin with Vayomer. So if you see them laughing and looking, then they, they have a hard time finding which verse to start with. So that's that's what they're laughing about. So then we all come in. Now, even on this, people join in. So it sounds like this. And then people join in. Does that sound familiar? Yes. yes. Okay, because the Hatsi Kaddish is repeated so many times. Then congregation and the leader. And they go to the next word. So in Yid Baruch, what root do we have? Baruch. Baruch, he will be blessed. And Yishtabach, he will be praised. And then we get in that whole... So what does the Viet mean? The Viet. Okay. What is that? Is and the and et. Oh, right. We don't translate that's a part of Hebrew grammar that comes before direct object. Okay, so that's what it is. We don't okay. have that in English. Yeah. Carol, so, why yeah. do we say that viet barach at the end? You know, why does the congregation roll over and then the leader starts again? Why does, why do they break it up? Are you saying? No, like, why do we say that? You know, because you mentioned it, because after we say Olame Omaya, and then we go, and then, you know, the. Oh, why do they, why do they join in? I guess that's Why do they custom. say it, that word twice? Well, um, when we say the second paragraph, Carol, and we say Yit Barach before the cantor starts. Okay, so where was Yit Barach before? Or, we just it, it's just said it's not okay it's that's not in here. It's, the first. it's a little bit different it's a little bit different it's a little bit different no not that okay. well, why do his we name is blessed name? what she's saying okay. is why do we end with the first word of the paragraph of the next paragraph oh, why do you, okay so yeah why do you go invite you to, i i really don't know but that's just I think custom. it's just stylistic, no? Isn't it just like the melody, the way it flows, or style? Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe the reader's giving yeah, the it, 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 I it brings just it down. Oh. It brings the voice down. Because Yeh Shme Rabba Mivara, Yolam Lyome, Oh Maya, Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's almost like a signal for the leader to continue. Okay, then they go on. So then you have to yit barach. Yishtabach, yit par, yit romam, yit na seva, yit hadar, yit alev, yit halal, shemei de kudisha, 
And people join in here. Okay, so now the Torah has been read and the um, the uh, last portion, the Maktir, has been done. So that person is getting ready to launch into the Haftorah. But before they do that, we have to really finish up with the Torah. So we have to raise it. So um, why don't we do some of the reading on that, the Chatzik Kaddish. Okay, Helene, will you read the um, where it says leader on the top? Do you have Do you have the place in your book? You mean the first line? Yeah. Yeah, Yit Gadal. Yeah. The Yit Gadal, the Yit Kadash, Shemay Rabbah, the Alma Divra. Divra. You know, I can sing it better than I can read it. Sing it. Div Divra. Har. Har. Root. Kirute. Okay, Michelle, we I can sing it. Why can't I read it? <laughs> it's strange. Because that just shows you I don't know it, right? No, you you know it. Kirute. You're right. Kirute. Okay. Okay, Michelle, do the Vyamli, the second line. Vyamli, Malkute, Raye Kron, Uv Yome Kron. Ukhaye the the call bait. The call, the call bait. Okay, Diana, take the third line. Diana, take the. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes. Uh, okay, the call bait Yisrael ba'agala vizman karif veimru amen. Okay, and everybody, we do that together. One, two, three. Yes, you hear a lot of all because this is Aramaic. Okay, then the leader, let's see. We're gonna get the leader. Um, okay, we need a volunteer. Alin, do you want to read where it says leader? Um, you're talking about the second part. Uh, for the second yes. leader part. Um, Yitara, the Yush Taba, if the Yit Paer, Paer, the Yit Raman, Raman, the Yit Nase. Very good. Okay. How about Sherry Fox? You want to take that second line? Great. Okay, Rhoda, you want to take um so do what it says. La um, la yeah, la and then and then read to the end. Okay, I'll try. I'm I my printout copy kind of fades a bit. I'll go la la uh mean kala call 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 um uh, la Allah. No, that uh, that is only on Shabbat Shuvah. Oh, so okay. So I forget that. Ela but means next line. Okay. Uh, bari, uh, be, be, I'll do it slowly. Okay. Be rachata. Be rachata. Be rachata. Good. Okay. Vashirata. Mm -hmm. uh, Tushbachata. Good. Um, Vane Hamata mm -hmm. uh, Da Ami Run. And my last Dami word is Ra. I can't read the last word. I'm sorry. The Oma. The Oma. Okay. And then um, uh, Va Im Ru. Va, va, oh, I'm sorry. Va I'm Im Ru Amen. <laughs> right. So, so we're agreeing. So all these things that are said about, about Tashem, we're saying he's exalted and honored and all the rest we're agreeing. So there's, there's kind of here uh, audience participation, right? So we are 
doing a part. It's um, sort of like the Greek chorus here. So the, the leader says something and we jump in and then the leader says something and we affirm it. Okay, so now we're ready to lift the Torah. So Hagba, it says Hagbat, the lifting of HaTorah, Hagbat HaTorah. Okay, so now we're ready to get somebody who's nice. And so how many columns um, is ideal to be shown, to be unrolled in front three. of the congregation? Anybody know? Three, 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 preferably five. Three. So there's some knockers, <laughs> there's some people who, you know, try to do the whole thing like that. And every time, every time somebody like that gets up, I keep saying to myself, oh, please don't drop it. Don't drop right. it. You know, three is good. But when they, they want to show up and they really unroll, I, I get a little nervous there because there have been a few, a few uh, close calls. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, let's see. So Hagba, and in our synagogue, we give Hagba to men and to women. And <laughs> they'd given me Hagba recently, and I hadn't done it in a long time, except with a little very small Torah. But there's a, there's a technique. What you have to do is you grab a hold of the end, and you have to pull it like about halfway the down, and then you pull it down, you bend down and up. But you have it a little bit unrolled when you do that. So mm -hmm. you you take it and then you you bend it down and then you lift it up. And if it's a little bit unrolled, it's easy to just unroll it. You don't have to really do too much. Yeah, and uh, some people will the, take their uh, tzitzit, hold it up towards the Torah. Some people will just hold their pinky, pinkies, and kiss it. Okay, and you always touch the thing which is holy and then kiss it. You don't kiss your pinky and then touch the Torah when it comes around that the kids used to do. Okay, so this is very good. Now let's, um, if you can, go ahead to the, so then this is what they sing. This is the Torah, I share that, Sam Moshe, that Moses put, set, Lifne, uh, in front of, B'nai Yisrael, the Israelites, Al P, by, through the mouth, P is the mouth of God, Hashem, Al P Adonai, Yad Moshe, with the hand of Moses. So Moses is getting this, not, he's not making this up. He is getting this, Al P Adonai, Yad Moshe. Can you tell me what okay. page we're on in Sim Shalom? Yes. Okay, in Sim Shalom, we're on 416. Sherry, the big, the big Sim Shalom? Yes. The regular, 416. Okay, da 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 Okay, let's have somebody read that. You don't have to sing it. If you'd like to sing it, that would be lovely. Um, Eddie, you want to read that? The Zota Torah. Eddie? Muted. Muted. Okay, Eddie, unmute. Yes. Okay. Very good. Go ahead. Mitzot HaTorah, Asher Shem. Sam, Sam. Sam. Lishnei B'nei Yisrael, Alfi Adonai B'yad Moshe. Okay. Da 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 Okay, so now the Torah is lifted. And the person, what do you call the person who is going to go over where the uh, Torah is? What do, what do they have to actually do? What Dresses. are they called and what do they do? Galila. Okay. So, Alain, what else, what do they have to do? The Galila. They, they dress the Torah. They bind it. Well, before they well, dress they, it, what? It, yeah, they have to. Um, oh, they roll, roll it. it. They roll, roll it closed. Closed, bind it. Uh, put what the do you bind it with? What do you bind um, it with? Like it's a, called the gartel. Right. The gartel. Oh, okay. The belt. Then you, then you put the cover on. Right. I don't know if it's 
And then uh, the ornaments, um, the yard, the crown, um, anything that you put on the... Um, Red, the silver. Yeah, the silver ornaments. And if there's a Torah pointer, a put yard, that on the yard. the yard. And sometimes a plate. Um, the breastplate. The breastplate. Yeah, the breastplate and the and the crown. And the, yeah. And the crown yeah. yeah, and if there's a crown, you put the keter, the crown. Okay, and then we have a place where you can hold the Torah um, or they have somebody holding it, but we just put it on a chair. Okay, so now the Torah is, the Torah reading is done and we're up to the half Torah. So uh, now a Galila is a male, Yamod, Galila, and a woman is called a Golelet. That's the feminine, Galila and Golelet. Okay, so we have that done. And if you go to the next page, if you're in um, Lev Shalem, you see bracha lifnei ha-haftarah. So the person is going to do the, um, there's a blessing, just like with the Torah, Aliyah, there's a blessing, only it's a short one, very short one before the reading of the haftarah. And then underneath that directly, it says brachot, blessings, the achar after a haftarah. So there's several blessings after. And that goes to the bottom, al torah okay. And that's the end of it. You see that all of that, if you are a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah, you have to learn those blessings. And it ends with Baruch Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. And you're done. And that's the end. Okay, so now we have finished the Torah reading. We have finished. And the cantor will go on to the next page. Yakum Porkan Min Shamaya. And then it depends on your synagogue, how much they read. Sometimes they read a prayer for those who serve the community. Sometimes a rabbi will read that in English. They don't do this whole paragraph, but they do your Kumpur Khan and you can find your place with that. And then at the um, bottom, and Lev Shalom, V'yishlach bracha, V'hatzlacha v'chol ma'asei yedeichem, in kol Yisrael achechem, v'ach, v'ach yo. No, that means and the sisters. Benoma Amen. Okay, this book has the Achechem, the brothers, and they also add in the Achyo Techem and the sisters. Okay, so you can find your place when you hear Vayishlach, Vayishlach, Bracha, Vachatzlacha. So you can find your place and then you can go to the next one. And then they have the English readings in our synagogue, the prayer for the renewal of creation. And they don't do that in our synagogue. They don't do that whole thing in Hebrew, a prayer for our country. These are congregants who come up and read, which is very nice. Okay, let me move along. And then we get to very nice prayer, tefillah. Does anyone know what the word tefillah means? It's prayer. 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 Good, prayer. Okay, lishlom, for the peace of. Medinat Yisrael, the special prayer, the peace of Israel, a prayer for the state of Israel, which is very nice. And our cantor sings it, um, and he has a very nice melody. Avinu, Avinu, Sheba Shamayim, So Yisrael, the Goalo. And he repeats, Avinu, Avinu, Sheba Shamayim, So Yisrael, the Goalo. Barech, Barech, and Medinat Yisrael. Reshit smicha kilateyu Hagen alecha berach hastecha Upraos alecha sukot shlomecha And then he goes back to Avinu. I just wanted to point out, and then part of it is kind of like talking and part of it is sort of towards the end, it's a little more talky than that same melody. Um, so this is a very nice wording here. It says, Bareh et mididat um, Medi where okay, are you? Wait, okay, where are I'm you on 178. <laughs> okay, I'm on 178, the top line with Avinu Shabashamayim, our father who is in heaven. That sounds like a prayer I used to have to say in, in the public school, right? Our father who is in heaven. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you did, but in public school. <laughs> so it's the same kind of Avinu Shabashamayim, our father who is in heaven. We used to have to say that in public school. Yep. Tzor Yisrael. The rock of Israel. 
Okay, the goa lo and redeemer. Now here are the words I wanted to go over. Barech et medinat Yisrael. What does the word medinat Yisrael? A province. Have, a province. A province okay. a place, a state. Well, that would be that would be Sherry in um, the Megillah. So there are two terms. <laughs> we just did that. Come on, I studied it this morning. 127 Medinot. You know, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so there's the political state of Israel, the government, and then there's the land, Eretz, Israel. So I guess those settlers or the very, um, the very uh, orthodox will talk about Eretz, Israel, but they're not so behind the political establishment of Medina Israel, which is the state, the political state, the government of Israel, okay? So the yes, they're all gung-ho, very, very Chabadniks and, and, and very um, orthodox Medina, Eretz Yisrael, the land. So I guess those very orthodox settlers that are um, uh, like in the Hebron area that had those uh, settlements on the West Bank, they're dedicated to the land, the biblical boundaries of Eretz Yisrael. Medina Yisrael, eh. So, so you have Barech et Medinat Yisrael, bless the state of Israel. Okay, then we have Hagen Alecha. What does Magen David mean? Anybody know Magen David? The shield of David. The shield of David. Yeah. So the verb Hagen, Le Hagen, oh. is like Magen. Magen is the noun, shield. Le Hagen is the verb to defend. Right, so you can see how it develops. You have a verb, and you have adjectives, and you have the haganah. The haganah was the defense forces, mm -hmm. right? Haganah, the le umi Yisrael, the haganah. Hagen alecha, defend upon it. Hagen alecha, and, and that would be on the second line, the last two words. Hagen alecha, defend it. Here it says shield it. It's shield or defend, okay? Like the Magain David, the shield of David. Okay, and then um, a phrase which I love, Sukkot Shlomecha. Mm -hmm. Okay, I ha I just happen to love that. Uh, there's a Friday night prayer where we have that Sukkot Shlomecha comes in. So what does that mean? Um, canopy of peace, I think it's usually translated. Right, and it, it's canopy and actually the Sukkot is that hut. Okay, mm -hmm. Anna, I don't know how they, how do they, they translate it, the shelter. Because when you go into your sukkah, you're sheltered. So this is, a, to me, this is a, just a beautiful phrase. Sukkah, the shelter, the sukkah, basically it's a sukkah, a peace. Okay, and when you go into that sukkah, sukkah, like in my sukkah, we put a lot of um, schach. We go to a farm and we buy about, six or seven bunches of corn stalks. That's real schach. Mm -hmm. You put that, you have to have enough light. It can't be entirely, it, it can't be entirely dark. You have to have the stars have to be able to shine through. So you can't cover it entirely. You have to leave, you know, some light. And that's your sukkat shlomecha, the shelter, the um, shelter of your peace. So uh, this is really beautiful. And here they have blessed the land with peace. Uh, where do they have? Um, yeah, spread over it, over the land of Israel, the shelter of your peace. So you're thinking of a giant canopy, like you said, a giant sukkah of peace for Israel. It's just beautiful, that poetry. I, I, that's one of my things. Okay. And then there's the prayer for peace, which is usually read in English. You know, it's supposed to be that person who's reading it reads, and then in italics, mm -hmm. the congregation reads. But everybody's always confused by that. They don't know who should read. Sometimes the person reads the whole thing. <laughs> but it should be the person who's reading it reads the first two lines. And then the congregation reads the italics. And then the person who's reading it reads it. <laughs> doesn't work out like that. <laughs> OK, so we have the prayer for the state of Israel, really beautiful. And there is your favorite. Then they announce the new month, if it is. We're not doing that today. And on page 181 of Lev Shalem, we have arrived at the station, your greatest destiny, your favorite, your beloved, 
Ashray. Okay, so we will do um, Ashray a couple of questions. Okay, so there's lots of words with ha on the end, and the the suffix ha means your. So you have Ashray Yoshray Vetecha. What does Vetecha mean? That's an easy one. Your house. Your house. Okay. Bayit Shelcha. And in Hebrew, they love to stick those endings in the beginning and, and on the end. It's like a kaitil. Vetecha. Your house. So what does your house really mean, Sherry? Happy are those who dwell in your house. What house is it? Is it the uh, fox household? God. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's uh, your sanctuary. Exactly. It's, it's God's house, the sanctuary, the synagogue, right? Happy are the, those who dwell in your house and they will be praised. Oh, you will praise them. Sela. Sela doesn't mean anything. Some people say it's just a uh, syllable. It margin ray. A line. What? It means margin ray. Yeah. Yeah. I always say <laughs> Oh, Sela. It doesn't mean it's not like Amen, but this question of what it means. And they say sometimes it just it rounds off a phrase. Ashrei ha'am, shakachalo, ashrei ha'am, she Adonai. That is a, a prefix, she, that, and then God, she Adonai Eloha, that God is your yours, your your uh, Elohim, Eloha. Okay. Okay, now the words to Hilala David, which some people say to Hilala David, just means a Psalm of David. Okay, now we have lots and lots of words. And I think at one point I had, and I didn't, I didn't take out my notes on that because I didn't want to go through every word. But let's go through a couple of words and let's see if I can translate them for you. I want you to pick out which seem to be the most difficult words in this prayer, the big words. And the big words, a lot of them like aromimcha, okay? Your eye is expanded to see that aromimcha. Like arom is to lift up, exalt. Aromimcha, I will exalt you. Aromimcha is you. It could be you or your. So when it's attached to a verb, the cha means you. Aromimcha, I will exalt you. I will put you on high. If ha is attached to a noun, it's possessive. It means your, like vetecha means your house. Bait is a noun, vetecha means your. That might confuse some people in terms of uh, translation. But let's just point out, let's just have some fun and, and call out a word. So you have aromim ha. Okay, that's it on line one. Look at the second line. Okay, I'm going to point one out. It says avar che ka. There are not many examples of this where the final chaf, the chaf sofit, has a dot in it and, and a kamatz. It's avar che ka, not ha, because they put the dot in. So you have to say avar che ka, okay? Just to make our lives a little more miserable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's an easy one on that second line. Can anyone spot it with a ha? So shimcha. Shimcha. What, what does shimcha mean? So that's a noun. Name. It means your, your name. Your name. name. Shimcha, your name. Let's look at the third line. And I don't see any ha. Let's look at the fourth line. Ah, there's one. What's the word with ha on the end? Okay. Now the yod before the cha shows that it's plural. Ma'asecha, which would be your deeds, your works, your doings. Because la'asot means to do or make. Wait, wait, ma, I, I thought you were ma'asecha. Yeah, ma'asecha. Mm -hmm. So they have here, um, uh, wait, just to refer. Your work, it says your deeds, your works. One generation praises your works to the next. Door to door, generation to generation, Yishabach will praise Ma'asecha, your works. Carol, the, yeah. the, mem, the mem is a prefix, isn't it? 
Um, it, no, no the, because osa, ayin, ayin sin, hey, is the verb. But the, with the mem, it's a noun. And it's not a prefix here. The mem, what is the mem? But the mem is not part the of the- mem is part of the word. It's not part, part of the, the show rush though, right? No, 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 I say it's it's part of that's how you make a noun. Okay, and what about the word after it? Ma'asecha is your deeds, and it comes from the root ose, like ose shalom, with ayin, sin, and a hey. But ma'ase, ma'ase yedechem would be the, the work of your hands. Ma'ase. Okay, but that's a noun. So what's the word after? Anyone see that after ma'asecha? Yeah. Yeah. Now, of course, when they're flying through this and you're trying to figure this out, I understand that you're trying to and you're, you're stuck on trying to figure it out. Okay. And givurot is is your uh, mighty deeds. And a gever is a man. You know, somebody who's like a real macho guy. So Ugavuro Techa is like your heroic deeds. Yagidu, they will say you're about, they will talk about your heroic deeds. Here, telling of your mighty deeds. So that's Ugvuro Techa. We're using all the vowels we know here. Ugvuro Techa. <laughs> so everybody say Ugvuro Techa. Ugvuro Techa. It's five syllables. So Dora Techa Yagidu, and you have to get that out fast. Dora Doya Shabach Maasecha Techa Yagidu. Techa Okay, you got to say Yagidu. Yagidu. That's right. Okay, look at the next line that starts with Hadar. Oh, there's one. The third word. Harecha. Hodecha. 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 Okay, Hod is glory or majesty. See, all these nice things. Ashray pulls out all the stops, all the nice words. You're majestic, you're compassionate, you're merciful, you're abounding in love, you're mighty, you're wonderful, you're glorious. It has it all, okay? It's, it's the real thing here. Every adjective, it's all, all there. So we have hodecha, that's a nice one. That's easy, you're glorious. Adar kevod hodecha, the divrei. Oh, what's the next one? Niflotecha. Right. So, but when they're singing it fast, they don't do that. Yeah, but nobody says that. The cantor doesn't say that. He goes, he changes that, that shva. Okay. Because you're saying it fast. Lo techa. Now, niflot in modern Hebrew, if um, there's a song for Purim, um, Chag Purim, Chag Purim, Chagad, no, something about nifla, nifla me'od. Nifla means wonderful. Niflot, wonders, wonder of wonders. Niflotecha, your wonders. Okay, niflotecha. And, and if someone says something to you and you're speaking to someone in Hebrew, Diana, which you probably are, you say, oh, ze nifla, nifla me'od. That's wonderful. Nifla me'od. Okay, nifla, nifla me'od. Okay, nifla, your wonders. Okay, now let's go to the next. Let's go to the ve'ezuz. Look at the second word in the ve'ezuz line. No, 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 no,
your awesomeness, your awesome deeds. Ezuz noro techa yo meru, ugidula techa asaprena, the Ezuz noro techa. Like, that's awesome. Noro techa, your, your awesome thing, your awesome deeds. Yo meru. And what's the next word? Ugedula techa. Right. And your greatness, right? From Gado. Ugedula techa asakena. Asakena. They will talk about your awesome deeds. The Ezuz noro techa yo meru. Ugedula techa asaprena. The saper is to tell a story. They will recount, they will tell the saper. Anima Saper. Ugedula Teha Asiha. No, no. Ugedula Teha Asaprena. Okay. The next line is Zecher. Zecher. Oh, that's an easy one, the third word on the Zecher. What does Tov mean? Tov. So this would be your goodness. Goodness. Oh my goodness, your goodness. Okay, remember your great goodness. Zecherav Tuvcha. Zecherav Tuvcha. Tuvcha, right? From Tov, Tuvcha would be your goodness. Yeah, there they say they recount your great goodness. Zecher. Zecher really means remember. Remember your great goodness. Zecherav Tuvcha. Yabi U. Oh, and here's another one we should know. Yeah, I've been pronouncing it ya be you. It's not ya be you, it's ya be oo. Yeah, you see that straight line at the metab? That means that's where you put the stress. Ya be oo ze ze rab to fra ya be oo. What does ya be oo mean? Um I am not sure. How do they yeah, translate it here? Can't Let's figure that one out. Okay, Zecher. They recount and sing. It could be sing. Zecher that, that's not sing. No, no. It means they will. And it could be, it, it's probably sing. Sing? It's not a word that I know. Yep. Yeah. Zecher. Remember just... your great goodness or in remembrance of your great goodness. Yabi, yeah, they will sing. Well, there's a lot of verbs that are not that come. Yeah. I, because the yud is the future tense and the u, so it's a verb. Yabi u, they will sing, and it says here they recount your great goodness. Zecherav tufa yabi u and sing, and I know that because the next word, with seed katecha. right? So what's seed katecha? What comes from what? Tedek. Tedek and tzedaka, right? Okay. So, Vitzid Katacha and your righteousness, God's righteousness, your Anenu, they will sing. So, I would say, Zecherab Tufa Yabi. It's probably they will tell or they will count. I don't recognize the verb. Vitzid Katacha, your Anenu, your will sing, definitely. And your righteousness, they will sing. Huh. So, I'm not sure. Zecher, maybe is, is it? Remembrance of remembrance. Is it of, recount? Is that recount? It's possible. I would have to look it up. I would look under Bet Yud Ayan and, and I would have to find it. But see, but it's not common. But see, Katecha and your righteousness, your Ananu. Ranan is sing for sure. Come and sing. Niranina Ladonai Naria Naria. So is it so Shir or Shir is the noun? Song? Shir is a song. Last year is to sing. Shir. Shir oh, so that's another way of saying, right? That's what I thought. There's a, you know what? <clears throat> there are a lot of words that mean sing. Uh, sing, say, recount, proclaim. There's a lot of words that are in the songs. Hmm. I will have to look that one up. So the next line, there's no Howard and Tov Adonai, there's no Howard. 
and Yoducha has. And that's a repeat. Ma'asecha. We had that before. Yoducha Adonai ko ma'asecha. And we'll praise your deeds. Ma'asecha. Bechasidecha and your and your compassion. Yivarchucha. Yeah. They will bless. Baruch. That's Baruch. the hardest word for me to say. Really? Yevarchuch. Is a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Practice gargling. Yeah. and I call Maasecha. We had your deeds. Bachasidecha. Chasidecha is like the Chasidim are the pious ones, the compassionate ones. That's what Chasidim. Chasid, chasidut and chasidim mean compassionate ones. Yoducha adonai kol ma'asecha v'chasidecha and your compassion yivarchucha they will bless. I hear it's also yeah, translated as translated. faithful. Yeah. Faithful and the faithful will bless you. It's translated as God's faithful or or uh, compassionate mercy, ones. Mercy, yes. V'chasid yeah. mm -hmm. Bachasidecha Yivarcha will bless you. Your your compassionate ones, your chasidim, or your faithful ones will bless you. Yivarchucha. But that's not that's not that's that's you. Yivarchucha from Baruch. Okay. Next page. We're so lucky. Okay. The line with kavod. Oh, you know this one. Kavod malchutecha. Your kingdom, your kingship. Right, your sovereignty, your kingship, Malchutacha, Malchut. Kivo, mm -hmm. the honor of Malchutacha, your sovereignty, your kingship. Your and your Givura is, is what Zelensky is showing now bravery. He's valiant. Your, your bravery, your might. Gibor, Samson was called Shimshon HaGibor, Samson the mighty one, the hero. Oi, Ezra Gibor, yeah. somebody who does something. You say, oi, who Gibor, Ezra Gibor, what a, what a valiant one, what a guy. So, Ugevura Techa and your bravery. Yedaberu, from Daber, Le Daber, Anime Daber Divrit, I speak Hebrew. They will talk about. They say they will tell of your might, but Shimshon HaGibor, he was the mighty one. He broke down the pillars of the uh, alien temple. So you have Malchutecha and Ugevura Techa. Let's see, the next line, we're clear. Oh, the third line. Malchutecha, again. Okay, your kingdom, your sovereignty. Mm. Oh, here's a good one. Umem shaltacha. The um mem mem shalat. I'm forgetting my Hebrew. Mem shala. Mem shala is the government. Mem shala means government. So umem shaltacha. Yeah. They say sovereignty, but yeah. that also means your government. Bechol dor vador in every generation. Dor vador dor is not is not what you open and close to your house. It's a generation. They Bechol call it dor dominion. Vador. They call it dominion. They not government. What? Well, they call it not government. They call it dominion. Yeah, yeah, in my but book, they didn't it says, have, they didn't it have, says uh, your dominion endures. They didn't have a Knesset, <laughs> you know, but the, the, domain, the word but for the Hebrew domain. government, your domain. the word for the Hebrew government today is, um, I forget it again, Memshala, Memshala. So in, someone reading this in modern Hebrew, Memshaltacha means your government. So Knesset means? Knesset means the gathering, the Hikanesses. That's the assembly. Okay. The okay. Knesset is where all the representatives are. It's, right. like, uh, it's like their Congress, the Knesset. You have members of Knesset. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those are the ones like our Congress and our senators. 
So your government, Mem Shaltacha, in all generation. So your sovereignty is eternal, your dominion, your government endures in every generation. Bechol, Dor, Bador. We got it. And the next line does not have any. Oh, Enecho Elecha. El means towards. The eyes of all are towards you. What does it say here? Um, and lifts up all. The eyes of all look hopefully to you. Okay. Enei chol elecha. The eyes of all are towards you. Yisaberu. And they then they will praise you. Yisaberu. Okay, so in a the eyes of everybody, elecha, they're towards God, and the eyes of all look hopefully to you. And there's no mocha. Oh, so here's something interesting. Our cantor, our former cantor, Alava Shalom, may he rest in peace, always when he got to this line, would he'd be up on the beat, he would open his hand because it says. The eyes of all look hopefully to you and you provide them nourishment in its proper time. Then it says, opening your hand, poteach et yadecha. So this means God is opening his or her hand and he would open his hand. Our cantor was a student of him and he sometimes does that. I always do it. Poteach et yadecha. Yad is your hand. Yadecha, mm. your hand, Yada's hand. And, and so it says, opening your hand, you satisfy with contentment all that lives. So the poteach et yadecha umasbiya and satisfies, that, that verb is in Birkat Amazon, lechol chai to all life, um, ratzon, uh, that are faithful. Okay. Tzadik Adonai Bechon. No. Nope. Not soon. Nope. Okay. Tehilat Adonai Yedabir Pi Divarev Kol Basar Shem Kod Shel Yolam Va'ed Ba'anach Nu Nivarei Ya Me'atan Ba'ad Olam Hallelujah. Okay, so you have two melodies for Ashrei. On Shabbat, our cantor does Ashrei Yoshvei Vetecha, Oh, Yahalulucha Sela. But there's another one that goes like this Ashrei Yoshvei Vetecha, Oh, Yahalulucha Sela. Ashrei Ha Am Shekacha Lo. Ashrei ha am Shadonai Eloha, Aromim ha Elohai ha Mele, Ba'avarecha Shim ha Leolam Ba'ed. Anybody know that one? <laughs> Name that tune? Mm -mm. No? I, I've heard it, but I'm more familiar with the other. That's kind of a little more bouncy than Ashrei Yoshrei Vetecha, Oyalucha Sela. That's kind of like a little more draggy. It's, but this one they was da 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 I like da, 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 da. I like that one. Yeah. It's a nice melody. We use it at my temple for a different thing. Uh, at the end of the service, there's like some shirim or something. Um, um, this I forget what it's called, but there's something. Anim I, Zamir, Anim Zmirot. Yeah, that's it. Zmirot. Anim yeah. Zmirot. Da, 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 da. It's a little bit different, but it's similar. But those are certainly easier to follow than yeah. the fast one. Let's do a little bit of that. Let's try just a little bit so you get the hang of it. You have time to breathe. <laughs> Arom, Arom, <laughs> 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 
Maybe next time we could do the end. And then I think it's getting close to Passover. So maybe I'll do one more week of finish up in March with, with um, the prayers. And then I think we'll start on uh, maybe a little bit of Pesach. Okay, maybe we'll, have, well, we don't have, it's getting really close. Well, we'll have, um, let's look at the calendar quickly. I only have a few weeks. Right, let me look. Um, you're one, two, I think it's three weeks. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right before the Seder. Mm -hmm. Three. Yeah. So let's, let's take a vote. There's three weeks then before Passover. Oh my goodness. I know when Purim, when Purim happens, my stomach starts to turn over.